Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session we are going to create our own custom object detection model for YOLO V8 then we are going to track our custom object. But before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay friends thank you so much and let's get started. So friends as I mentioned we are going to create our own custom object model for YOLO V8 then we are going to track our custom object. For that first you need to install Thony Python ID then OpenCV and YOLO V8 on Windows machine. This is Windows 11 machine of course you can use your Windows 10 machine also. So I have already created the video how to install Thony, OpenCV and YOLO V8 on Windows machine. I will mention video link, watch video and install all these basic modules. So first for today's session I have created here a repository and the repository name is YOLO V8 custom object training tracking ok so I will mention link copy and paste the link inside the browser then go to the code simply click on download zip it will download zip format repository then go here show in folder we have our repository right click we are going to extract the folder so this is what our repository folder again same folder and inside that we have all our python scripts also also we have our uh, download.txt file which basically uh, download the video so first we need our video file so simply open the download.txt file copy the link and open the link inside the browser so just open new tab press ctrl plus v and just hit enter it will open the link for video so click on download now it's downloading our video file so friends we have download our video file simply go here show in folder and this is what our video uh, in zip format so what we want to do we want to move our zip format folder inside our main repository so right click cut and this is what our repository folder same folder again and just paste the video in zip format right click right click and then we are going to extract here so this is what our video file if I click on the video file so as you can see friends this is what our custom objects we have here a people which basically surfing on the sea so this is what our custom object and we are going to track all this person okay so with the help of tracker basically so first uh, first we want to uh, create our own custom model for that we need images so here what we are going to do we are going to use our video file for images means we are going to extract the images from our video for that I have created here img.py which basically extract the images from our video file so just open img.py with the help of Thony Python ID so we need here maximum frames 100 you can increase the frames okay so I have mentioned here 100 you can simply mention here 1000 it will capture the 1000 images or it will extract the 1000 images from video file so right now what we are going to do we are going to only capture 100 images so I have mentioned here 100 if you want to uh, only 10 images simply mention 10 you can increase the numbers as per your requirement so right now we only want here 100 images simple that's it then there is nothing to change here here it is as you can see I have mentioned serve.mp4 this is what our video file and this is the path where we want to save our images so what we are going to do uh, we are going to open our folder and here I am going to create a new folder so new folder and let's say images okay so this is what our folder images or let's say images hyphen surf okay that's better so now what we want to do we want to mention the path so right click to the folder and copy as a path simply open Tony Python ID and here we need to mention our folder path so this is what our image name okay when we capture our images it will it will mention the name 
okay like this we are surfing 1.jpg surfing 2.jpg so this is basically image name okay so you need to simply mention here as per your class name so now we are going to basically detect here surfing people so i have mentioned of course a surfing this is what our image name simple so we are going to simply delete from here we are going to delete all the path and we are going to mention our new path so just press control plus v that's it so now what we are going to do here we need to remove this double quote here because we want to mention over here okay here as you can see it's already mentioned so now i just want to move here okay and here as you can see it's double so we need to simply mention only one so now this is what our path and it's in green means we have perfectly mentioned our path our folder path with the images name so this is the image name surfing is basically image name of course if you if you want to train the model for an uh, arduino so simply you need to mention arduino this is the image name so now we are going to train our model for surfing so surfing simple okay now it will save our images inside our images hyphen surf folder which we create inside our repository this is the folder okay so now what we are going to do we are going to simply start our code save the code if i run the code as you can see our video file is started and now it's capturing our images so it's done means we we have now 100 images inside our folder so if i open folder this is what our folder which we just create if i open the folder as you can see we have here all images okay from video file we have images okay this is the images 100 images now it's really easy to train our images okay so now what we are going to do we have now our images now we need a label emg software okay but label emg is not compatible with python 3.10 so we need a python 3.9 version so simply open microsoft store and we are going to search for python 3.9 and then of course we are going to install python 3.9 which i have already installed simply i have opened microsoft store python 3.9 here it is as you can see python 3.9 and if you click here as you can see python 3.9 is installed simply you need to click here and it will automatic install python 3.9 okay so now we have our python 3.9 as i uh, mentioned here i have already installed so now what we are going to do we are going to first change the version inside our Tony Python ID so for that what we want to do we want to go here run configure interpreter and here it is as you can see this is the Python 3.10 by default just click here and we need to select this one app data local Microsoft Windows app Python 3.9 just select it click on OK and now here it is as you can see it's a python 3.913 so we have successfully changed the python version now what we want to do we are want, we are ready simply we are going to install label emg so just go here again tools open system shell and simply here we are going to run the command pip3 install label emg so just like this way let me make full screen okay and uh, pip3 p3 install label okay p3 install label i capital img like this way p3 install label all the way small i capital mg small just hit enter so it says the requirement is already satisfied because i have already installed label img so remember one thing you need here python 3.9 version for uh, opening the label emg simple so we have installed our label emg now simply run the command label emg label i capital same way label small img i capital label emg and just hit enter it will open label emg software now we need to select our folder where we have our images so open dir and we need to go inside our repository which we 
just download so below we add custom as you can see this is what our repository let me show you again this is what our repository below we add custom object training tracking inside that we have we create a folder images hyphen surf and inside that we have all our images so select the folder and then it will open our images again change save dir same folder search for your folder images surf this is what our folder name okay so now what we want to do we want to simply draw a rectangle on our object so here as you can see i have select yolo create ml then pascal voc simply we want to select yolo okay so we select here yolo then create rectangle box and simply we want to draw a rectangle box on each object on each object okay so this is the first object so simply mention surfing this is what our name surfing then next one again create rectangle box draw a rectangle on a second class draw a rectangle on second object okay again same name surfing then create rectangle box draw a rectangle box on next person surfing uh, the same class okay create rectangle box again here also same way draw a rectangle surfing create rectangle box draw rectangle box here name is same surfing again create rectangle box draw rectangle over here click on okay create rectangle box here also okay surfing create rectangle box the next person draw rectangle click on okay class name is same surfing and here also okay then click on save so we need to draw a rectangle on each person each person simply save we save the images next image again same way create rectangle box draw a rectangle box on each person same name surfing create rectangle box draw rectangle box same name surfing create rectangle box draw a rectangle box over here click on okay so this is how we need to draw a rectangle box on each person for each image remember these things we need to draw a rectangle box on each person for each images means we have 100 images so we need to draw the rectangle box on each person on 100 images okay so this is how you need to train the images so i have already draw a rectangle box on the images okay so i hope you clear now i have already uh, done this step okay so i have here a folder okay let me show you here my images and inside that img okay so my images and as you can see surfing i have create here a 44 images okay 44 same images if i open the image as you can see 44 images with same video and this is their text file inside that text file we have bounding box which we draw with the help of uh, label emg software okay so i have already done with label emg steps so now what we want to do here what we want to do we want to create a folder okay so let me show you here again we need to go in our repository so this is what our repository so here what we want to do we need to create a new folder so let's just create a new folder like uh, let's say where is new right click again okay now we have new folder so let's say let's create a data this is the folder name okay so i have created here, here again new folder which is the data the folder name go inside the data folder and here we need to create two folder again images and labels so just right click new folder again images that's it and labels okay images and labels folder so we create a data folder inside that data folder again we create images and labels and again inside the images we need to create two folders so first is basically training training 
okay training and another one is validation so again right click new folder validation okay so training and validation we create data folder inside that data folder we create images and labels folder now we are inside images folder we create validation folder and training folder again go back okay data we have images folder inside images we create validation training folder same way go labels and here also we need to create training and validation folder so just right click training okay and validation simple now what we want to do the images which we train with the help of label emg we need to copy and paste all the images with their labels inside our training and validation folder so just go here so as i mentioned i have already trained the images inside my images folder okay my images folder as you can see so i am going to simply make here so just open the folder and press ctrl plus a select all the images with labels right click copy and we need to go inside our repository we have data folder and inside that data we have a uh, labels folder okay right now labels folder and validation and trading so simply paste all the images all the images with labels inside training folder again go to the back labels folder and same way validation folder just paste it okay so we have now our data with their labels inside validation folder also inside training folder okay so now we have done with labels now go inside images same way inside training folder just press ctrl plus v again go images then inside training we copy it validation just press ctrl plus v that's it so now i'm going to explain again these steps we create a data folder inside that data folder we create labels and images folder inside images folder we create training and validation folder same way inside labels folder we create training and validation folder then the images which we train with the help of label emg we need to simply copy and paste their labels with images inside images folder training validation okay also training and then same way inside labels validation i have already copy all these things and inside label and training and inside validation we need to copy all the data which we train with the help of label emg so we have done we have done with our data now what we want to do we want to create a zip format folder okay so simply go to the repository this is what our folder right click winrar and add to archive zip data dot zip it will create a data dot zip format folder now we need to simply move our data dot zip folder inside our google drive so friends as you can see i have opened my google drive right click and file upload and we are going to upload our file so our file is basically inside our repository will be at custom object data training and this is what our zip folder data okay select data click on open now it's uploading our data dot zip folder on our google drive now we need to simply open google collab so friends as you can see i have opened the google collab now we need to upload our collab training file so training file is basically inside our repository so click on upload choose file and our repository so we need to go inside again our repository which is yolo custom uh, training object okay and inside that as you can see we have our google collab file simply click on open now it's uploading our google collab file on our google collab so friends our file is successfully uploaded then now go to the runtime change runtime type 
select GPU and simply click on save now simply click on connect so friends as you can see we have successfully connected now we are going to run our cell one by one so start with first cell click on here done now just scroll down now second cell it will install ultra analytics on our google collab so just run our second cell now it's installing ultra analytics done as you can see so now again go to the next cell we need to import from ultra analytics import yolo so simply click on here done and this is what our next cell we are going to use here a image we are going to basically check if our yolo is successfully installed or not and as you can see done there is no error it means we have successfully installed yolo v8 on our google collab now we need to simply mount our google drive okay so just scroll down and the next code as you can see from google collab it will basically mount our google drive so just run the next cell connect to google drive select your gmail id then click on allow that's it now it's basically mounting our google drive on our google collab so now what is next we are going to create a new folder data set and inside that data set folder we are going to unzip our data.zip folder so mkdir data set it will create data set folder and we have basically if i click here we have here g drive as you can see g drive and inside that g drive we have our data.zip folder okay so here it is as you can see my drive this, this is basically our google drive it's mounted on g drive folder and here it is as you can see we have our data.zip so we need to unzip our data.zip so for that we create a data set folder a new folder and inside that data set we are going to uh, unzip our all images so here i have mentioned freedomtech.zip so i need to simply change the folder name because this time our folder name is data.zip okay simply run the cell it will create a data set folder it will create new directory and inside that it will unzip our all the images okay so now if i again click here and here it is as you can see we have data sets folder inside that we have data folder and then images labels then training and validation and we have all our images simple done now what we want to do inside data set folder where we have our data folder as you can see inside data set folder we have our data folder and then we have images and labels folder so here what we want to do we want to simply create data.yaml file okay data.yaml file so if i open our repository okay our repository here it is as you can see i have create here data.yml file so just right click and uh, what we are going to do we are going to simply make as a text file okay just a minute we need to mention like this way data.yml so data dot let's say text okay so now it's in text and inside that as you can see i have mentioned what we want to paste in data.yaml file so we need to paste this code inside our data.yaml file okay so simply we are going to copy all these things copy it and open our google collab and as i mentioned inside data sets folder we have our data folder inside that data we have images and labels folder so here we are going to create a new file which is data.yml so just go here data click here then click on new file 
and we are going to mention our file name data dot y a m l data dot y a m l simple so we have now our data dot y m l so just double click here and as you can see it will open data dot y m l like this way now it's blank we need to simply paste what we copied okay so here what we are going to do we need to simply change the folder name because our folder name is right now data okay so change the freedom tag with data if you mention any other name you need to simply mention your folder name over here remember these things you need to mention your folder name okay so data okay so inside a data folder we have images folder and inside that images folder we have training folder for validation we have data folder inside that we have labels folder and inside labels folder we have validation folder and then same way we have labels and our img okay nc is basically number of classes so we have only here one class if you have three classes so you need to simply change one with three if you have 10 classes simply uh, go with 10 so the number you want to mention as per your classes so right now we have only one class so nc is basically one then class names here we want to mention the classes name means you have more than one classes so you need to mention each class separately so names i have here only one class surfing so let's say you have another class like this way you need to mention comma in single quote you need to mention class name so let's say uh, arduino okay let's say this is what your second class so you need to mention the second class like this way same way next classes okay as per how many classes you have as per your requirement so right now we have only one class so i have mentioned only surfing this is the one class that's it now simply press ctrl plus s it will save the data dot yaml then just close it that's it so we have done now we are ready and we are going to simply create our own custom model so this is what our last cell here we are going to uh, here we mention our data dot yaml we need to mention basically data dot yml path so what we are going to do data dot yml click here copy as a path and simply from data dot because this is the old path because i have already tried the code okay so this is the old path we need to simply remove this path from data dot yml to data like this way and just press ctrl plus v it will paste our new path for data.yml file which we copy it like this way just click here and copy as a path and just press ctrl plus v okay remember these things you need to remove the old path and you need to of course uh, paste your own path so data.yml we have data.yml inside content data sets folder inside data and then we have data.yml that's it and the apox we mentioned here 100 simple we are ready and simply what we are going to do we are going to simply run our cell as you can see it the training is started okay there is no error our training is started one by hundred so it will take some time meanwhile i will pause video so friends we have done our training and our model is basically save inside runs folder detect and run so we need to go inside runs folder so this is what our runs folder okay then inside uh, we have detect folder then we have train folder then we have weights folder and inside that we have best.pt so this is what our custom object detection model for detecting surfing people okay so just click here and click on download now it will download our model so friends as you can see we have downloaded our model base.pt again click here show in folder and this is what our model so we need to simply move our model inside our repository so yolo we had custom object training and tracking again same folder and here we need to paste our model okay so i forget to copy so again copy it and then our repository this is what our repository and just paste 
that's it base.pt now our model is ready now what we want to do i have create here uh, object detection python script okay already i have write the code already so this is the code okay simply open with tony python ide so i have mentioned the basic code already in this file if you don't know how to use yolo v8 with open cv i have already created the video i will mention the video link watch video then you will get the idea so this is our basic code where we basically have a bounding box means a rectangle on each object means on each person okay so i have mentioned here our uh, model name which is base.pt then our video file so if i start the code oh i forget to change the python version because we changed the python version with 3.9 so we need to again change our python version which is 3.10 so we need to go here run config interpreter then here as you can see it's right now python 3.9 and because we not install ultra analytics for python 3.9 that's why it, uh, no module ultra analytics this is the error okay so simply we need to go with our by default python version which is python 3.10 click on okay now that's it again we are back with python 3.10 okay we change the python 3.10 with python 3.9 for label emg remember this thing okay so now we are ready and now simply we are going to run our code okay so one more thing here as you can see there is error the error is basically there is no coco.txt so here i have mentioned the coco.txt for class okay so we need to create the coco.txt manually inside our repository so open our repository so this is what our repository inside we are going to create a new file new simply text document file okay and we are going to mention as a coco and inside that we are going to mention the class name so right now we have only one class which is surfing so we are going to mention here surfing this is our class name save it now we are ready now there is no error okay if i run the code and as you can see friends just a minute there is something problem there is no rectangle okay so i forget to mention here cv2 dot rectangle method okay it's detecting our object but there is no cv2 dot rectangle method simply what we are going to do here we are going to mention cv2 dot rectangle method so simply let's say cv2 dot rectangle and where we want to draw a rectangle we want to draw the rectangle on our frame then the coordinates which is x1 y1 and x2 and y2 so x1 y1 then x2 and y2 then the color for rectangle so let's say green 0 2 5 5 0 and thickness let's say 2 that's it if i save the code if i run the code now as you can see friends there is a rectangle on each person means we have successfully detect our custom objects we create our custom model we successfully create our own custom object detection model for yolo v8 as you can see it's detecting each person with surfing board that's it we have our model ready we successfully draw a rectangle now the next part we want to track the each object means we want to assign the specific id for each object for that i have create here a tracker.py file okay i have already mentioned inside the repository we have tracker as you can see this is what our tracker.py file it will assign the specific id for each object simple so simply what we want to do we want to call the tracker.py inside our cdetect.py so which i have already mentioned if you scroll up as you can see from tracker tracker is basically our tracker.py file so from this file we are going to import all things 
simply we are going to import all things so for that i have mentioned from tracker import star star means all okay so from tracker import all and then here i have mentioned tracker as a variable tracker as a variable and this tracker t capital is basically our class as you can see the class is tracker t capital so i have mentioned tracker is just a variable is equal to tracker ready so now we have our tracker now what we are going to do we are going to use here our rectangle coordinates and we are going to send our rectangle coordinates inside our tracker so for that we create here list as you can see this is what our rectangle coordinates x1 y1 x2 and y2 then here i have create a list list dot append and inside that we need to mention x1 y1 x2 and y2 then here i have create a empty list now we have our list and inside that list we have object our object rectangle four coordinate simple now what we are going to do here we are going to now we need to call our tracker so for that what we are going to do here in for like this way in this line we are going to create a new variable so b box let's say idx b box idx let's check it is in line okay it's in line perfect okay so b box idx is equal to our tracker variable because our tracker variable is our tracker so tracker dot tracker dot update tracker dot update and inside that we need to pass our list our list is basically our rectangle coordinates then it will work our tracker we need to pass our rectangle coordinates for that we create our list so simply we need to pass our list inside our tracker dot update now we have our b box idx so simply we are going to create a for loop okay so for for b box in for b box in b box idx so let's say b box idx okay now we have our b box idx so it will basically return it will basically return again a four coordinate with id with the help of tracker it will again return the rectangle coordinates with id so here we need to mention a new coordinates so simply let's say x4 y4 x5 and y5 okay and then new is basically our id for each object with the help of tracker and this all is basically our b box because inside this b box we have x4 the rectangle coordinates with id for each object for each person now we have x4 y4 x5 y5 now we need to mention these coordinates for new rectangle means we are going to now draw the rectangle with the help of tracker so we need to simply mention cv2 dot rectangle method and here we are going to change the coordinates so x1 will become x4 y1 will become y4 then x2 x5 and y5 simple now we need to simply mention put text method and we are going to put the id on each rectangle so cv2 dot put text cv2 dot put text method and where we want to put the text we want to put the text on our frame okay then we need a coordinate so coordinate it basically our uh, let's say x5 and y5 so x5 and y5 rectangle x5 y5 coordinates okay then what else we want uh, we want a font so cv2 dot font cv2 dot font let's say harsh complex okay so this is what our font then we need to mention a scale so 0.5 is the scale then color let's say red so 0 0 2 5 5 and thickness we are going to mention 2 okay so and here i forget to mention what we want to put we want to put the id so str string and inside that we need to mention our id that's it 
Now it will draw the rectangle with the help of our tracker. Also, it will put the ID on each rectangle. Okay. So if I save the code, if I run the code, and as you can see, friends, there is a rectangle, and we have ID for each person, and the ID is still same. It means we are tracking each person, and there is the ID for each person. We have here this person five. We have here this person three. This person we have zero, and it's not changing. Means our tracker is perfectly working, and it's tracking each object perfectly. Okay. Again, I am going to run the code. Let's just watch the ID. This person we have twelve. Same ID we have twelve, twelve. This person we have two. Same two. 12 is still 12 this person we have 11 it's still 11 it means we are successfully tracking uh, the object with the help of tracker okay so this is the way you can create your own custom model with the help of label emg and google collab then of course you can track the object with the help of tracker I hope you will learn something from this video. We will meet our next video. Till then, thank you, take care and bye-bye.